Hello guys and welcome to your pick a card reading. I feel that these messages here are very, very important to you that are drawn to this video today, okay? So we've got four separate options here. We've got option number one, contemplation. Option number two is perceptions. Option number three is this cool little little vehicle here with surfboards. Option number four, we've got this cute little pink whale, this whale, having a whale of a time. Um, and the card is called Persevere. Those are the four separate options that we have here for you guys, okay? So again, either choose from the card or you can choose from the cool little ornaments these are actually ornaments guys they're like most of these are made of glass and again like i said you can book a personal reading at the enchanted one.com the link for that is also down in the description box i will see you at your selection Shows option number one. We have contemplation. Contemplation. Now, I did channel a message on the back. Let me go ahead and read that for you guys. It's time to connect with your center and rediscover your truth. Is your current path still your highest path? Now is the time for contemplation and the reevaluation of your current belief systems and life path. Do the shadow work and follow your intuition back into the light. It's time to step away from the opinions of others and start creating your own firm views based off of your own unique perspective. Step away from the crowd and embrace your own individual path. The time is now. I feel like you guys are already doing this. You have been in this contemplation mode for a while. A while. And and so now I feel that because that moon is full, things are coming to harvest. Things are coming to fruition. Even though the new moon is about planting those seeds, setting intentions, it's like whatever intentions you had set whatever wishes you wanted to manifest they're going to be manifesting now you are going to have to let go of things that no longer serve you particularly specifically is that's going to be lower vibrational thought patterns belief systems perceptions do not allow yourself to be influenced by illusions of these shadows okay by fear by doubt, by pessimism, by hopelessness. Um, you know, it, you have to follow the light. Follow what's right. I also feel like you're having some huge revelations. There are things that you have believed to be true that you are now acknowledging are not true. <laughs> and it's mind expanding and mind boggling and it's i feel like you're going through a massive spiritual revelation like on a quantum level and it can be even a little bit alarming or ungrounding because of the information that you are receiving be still be calm if you feel ungrounded or if you feel like you're in a negative energy go into your own energy go be out in nature ground yourself preferably out in nature and get away from anything that's triggering you if someone or something, you know, whether it's a person, a TV show, a social media platform, an app, a group chat, if any of these things are triggering you, whether intentional or not, it's a sign from the divine to head in a different direction. Don't beat your head against the wall and wonder why you're hurting. Don't continue doing the same thing and wonder why you are hurting, why it's not working. You've traveled down that road before. You already know where it ends. Nowhere. It's a dead end. <laughs> So the divine isn't punishing you at all. If people or, or situations or places or whatever are not lifting you up, making you feel better about yourself, if they somehow are not aligned with your truth, then it's not your path. You're not supposed to head that way. We all have choices. Life is about choices. There's infinite choices, good and bad. We have free will to choose them. No one can choose for us, but us. Anyway, so you're in this place now where you're gaining great clarity with this uh, shell here. What I'm getting intuitively, you are awakening to a higher level of understanding of a higher level of truth. Some truth is being revealed to you and it's big. It's really big. But you need to listen to your intuition because it's speaking to you now. 
guiding you. I also feel like because you see the silhouette, the shadowy figure, and then there's this glittery moon up there. You have done a lot of shadow work. You may still be doing shadow work. I'm also getting like this strong duality in your reality. So there's strong dualistic energies flowing right now, which can sometimes feel chaotic or scary sometimes even for some people. But... I'm seeing that you need to continue facing the light. Even if you feel like you're surrounded by doubts, pessimism, fear, depression, whatever it is, any lower vibrational thoughts or experiences, face towards the light, follow the light and do what's right and you will be fine. Wow, we have the devil. You are breaking free of old addictions. This could be addictive and, and or codependent connections or a connection to a specific person. Now, you'll know who this is if it's a person because the person wants to cause destruction and pain or suffering. Or if you head in this path, it would cause a lot of damage. It's like she's pointing down. So it's like you're going down, you know, like you want to go up. You don't want to go down. You want to go up. You're, yeah, whatever revelation you're having right now, whatever truth is being revealed to you, is allowing you to break free of what is not serving you, of whatever is toxic, whatever is, whatever has been holding you back, keeping you stuck, or sabotaging you. You are now breaking free from whatever illusion was tied around this. You're becoming empowered. Yes. Oh my gosh. That, and you know, I was thinking this moon looks like a portal. The Ace of Pentacles is a portal. It's a new opportunity, a new gateway. It's a new path that has come to fruition, that has now manifested that you are now able to access because of your alignment. See how she's pointing down? And she's surrounded by this shadowy energy. This represents you transmuting your own shadow into light and balancing your shadow and light yin and yang energy and having that internal balance of your own duality mastering self perfect balance perfect harmony perfect existence you are on a path of transmutation and ascension and change you are changing you're on a path of change the people around you that don't want to change that they want to stay stuck in those lower vibrational paradigms of negativity or destruction or addictions or whatever it is they don't want to change they're not going to change there are some people i mean they will in their own time some people right now you have to walk away from and you have to face towards this new opportunity that's opening up to you now i see that you will i'm seeing you walking away from toxic connections addictions habits behavioral patterns, belief systems, false illusions. You're seeing beyond illusions. You're seeing through people's BS. You're seeing through people's lies or any lie. You know, even if you believed a lie, again, false beliefs. You're breaking out of some sort of limitation that was holding you back. And you are now, see how these hands are coming out of the clouds? She has risen. You're up high, high vibrational. You are now aligned or aligning quickly to a new portal, to a new path, a new opportunity that's going to bring you success, victory, balance, safety, harmony, love. I see you creating this. I also see you creating finances. Some of you are going to be leaving something old that you've been doing because it wasn't working out for you. It wasn't in alignment with you. For those of you, you've already been thinking about it. If you've been working at a job, doing something that you feel isn't in alignment with you, you're going to walk away from that and head towards what is in alignment with you, which will bring you finances. You're going to be successful once you leave something that doesn't align with you. I also feel like you guys are flowing and glowing above any sort of spiritual traps right now. <laughs> any sort of spiritual traps right now you're like you're flying right past it you're not falling for the tricks or the traps of the lower vibrational paradigms and you're going straight for your goals so again for some of you it's like whatever goal this is will bring financial success now the page of swords i also feel like you guys are becoming a lot more wise and sharp-minded you're becoming a lot more observant and paying attention and realizing you're having a breakthrough within your mind which is creating this new path for you which is aligning you it almost feels like your actions are more aligned with your truth because you're more aware of what is right for you and what is true because you're seeing beyond whatever illusion or leaving behind whatever you know false belief you had before 
before or false perception, you're seeing clear clearly now. You're gaining clarity on certain things and certain people, possibly toxic people, whatever the case is. You're seeing clearly what the truth is and what path is right for you. And you are learning about yourself, about reality, about life, and you're just you're gaining you're gaining new information. You are becoming wiser right now. Some of you you're supposed to be writing a book. Not all of you though. Some of you are supposed to be gaining finances through writing a book. I also feel that you're going to be connecting and communicating with like-minded people. Unlike people in the past, you're going to be connecting with like-minded people. You're going to be connecting and, and communicating a lot with other high vibrational people that want to fly high vibrationally. And I feel like you're going to be connecting with people that are easy to talk to. I'm also feeling like you guys are having a huge vibrational breakthrough because of your perceptional breakthrough, which is creating you knowing the right actions to take, making the right choices, making the right decisions, and not doubting yourself or being manipulated by anyone else on what you think, what you know, what you feel, because you're wise. You're really, really good at discernment if you're not being manipulated by somebody. So yeah, big breakthroughs, which is leading to new horizons. We have the three of wands here. So whatever breakthrough this is, whatever new path, it, again, it feels, for some of you, it could be business expansion. It, it doesn't have to be a new thing. It could be something you're going back to. I'm just saying that you're dedicating or will be dedicating a lot of energy and focus in one specific direction. Not to say that you're not going to have several other projects if you want. I am getting like you're going to focus your attention and energy in a specific path or direction that's going to lead to business expansion or expansion of your success and travel. Let me get some clarifiers here. And then we have the chariot on the bottom of the deck. So again, the chariot is all about overcoming obstacles, being victorious. Now let's get some clarifiers here. Wow. 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 <laughs> First of all, we have waking up, clearly seeing what's up, breaking a spell, overcoming mental blocks, coming out of eight of swords, being more present and practical, getting out of your head and living life. Now on the back it says, you have ignored too many red flags for too long, or are now becoming way more awake, present, and aware of the ops bad intentions and can see right through bs <laughs> that's literally what i was telling you the blindfold has been lifted and you now see people situations and self much more clearly someone wanted you mentally trapped and for you to ignore their mind games and red flags do i have to say anything further do i have to i mean that literally is exactly what i was just literally saying about leaving some toxic connection or whatever it is. Some of you may have lit a candle to cleanse your energy of any spells or curses and that helped. And if you don't wanna do candles, you don't have to do a candle. Um, but you can use sage. I advise if you cleanse your energy with sage to use sage that's coated in dragon's blood because it's the most powerful combination that I've come across um, and that I've read about. Um, I actually read that they use that combination for exorcisms. That's how strong it is. Not to say you need one. <laughs> Here's one, here's mine. This is uh, sage with dragon's blood incense coated on it. I'm not saying you've been cursed, but if you feel that you have, this is, you know, you already know, you already have like an inkling. You know, I do feel that whatever this is, is lifting and it has lifted. Cause again, it says breaking a spell. Now I do want to let you guys know at the end of the day, we are all winners. We are all winners here. Every single body. I don't believe in religion only because the religion has been warped by people who wanted power and control. I believe in unity. I believe in union amongst all people of all walks of life, of all colors and shapes and sizes. I believe in everyone's supposed to get along. Everyone's supposed to help each other out. The world was never supposed to be dog eat dog. And it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that in the beginning. But it's okay because it will be that way again. It, it will be harmonious and peaceful and united again. It's supposed to be everyone wins. And it will be. That's part of the illusion that we're breaking out of is these false illusions of, you know, fearing hell. Are there hellish realms? Yes. Are there heavenly realms that someone, someone will call heavenly? Yes. There's good and bad because everything 
it, that can exist does exist infinitely. But together we are stronger. We must lift each other up. We cannot give up hope. That doesn't mean that we won't fall from time to time, but you can't do this alone. And I know that you've been isolating yourself because we have the contemplation card. I know you've been disconnected and, and probably in hermit mode for a long time. And even if you're around people, I know that you don't open up all the way. Well, that's changing. That's You're coming out of your hermit mode. Even if you don't want to, you're coming out. It's time for you to shine. It's time for you to come out and wake up the masses. You're here to be a spell breaker. You are the cure because your heart is pure. You are the liberator of the mind. You're here to liberate people and get them to leave behind the shackles, the lies that they have been fed, programmed with. It's time to wake up. You're waking up. You're waking up. If you face the sun, all shadows will fall behind you. I say that all the time. You're breaking out of illusions and you're here to break others' illusions as well. There is a new opportunity and you're not supposed to do it alone. You are going to be uniting with soul family that will lift you up and together you will lift others up you're stronger together you have to connect with your soul family now the time is now or in autumn between now and autumn is when things are going to start picking up you're going to be more connected with your soul family specifically in autumn i feel like there's going to be socialization with the right people some of you are leaving behind a toxic low vibrational connection in regards to love and you're going to be connecting with somebody that is an eternal love not a low vibrational toxic love but an, an eternal true love someone that promises to love you always it says hello sunshine and then we have the queen here truly deserves the universe destined for true eternal love divine feminine an eternal destined to be with her divine masculine <laughs> guys with the two birds there too it's like love birds some of you are going to be connecting with your divine counterpart in autumn or around autumn you have you know you're the winner gratitude for the good excited big blessings here and still manifesting i see that when you Start doing things differently. Start taking better actions, making better choices. You're go That's the portal that opens up for you. You're going to start creating a new life for yourself by taking actions that are aligned to your success and well-being. By aligning with people that wish well for you and speak life into you, not death. People that gossip about others, slander others. Again, we're all human. We all make mistakes. We all mess up. You know, we're not perfect, but you know, words have power. And if you spoke negativity in the past, I see you speaking more positively, speaking life as opposed to death into others and into yourself. You're speaking life now. Positivity, upliftment, fulfillment will come from it. We have divine power, powerful shift, huge sudden shift. This is going to happen pretty quickly and it's going to be really intense like these changes i'm getting like big changes coming out of hermit mode into like a lot of big positive changes that are going to feel good they're not going to feel scary or painful like they may have in the past whenever like things are chaotic and busy they may have been chaotic and, and painful unpleasant this is going to be a very good busy i see you being so blessed no longer stressed and I see you having a lot of fun too with that roller skate there. Being confident. I see you headed towards your confidence, especially once you connect with the right people. You're going to realize like, oh, it's okay to, to be me. Your life is going to have a big turnaround for the better. We have elephants. So Google elephant spirit totem and tiger spirit totem and bird spirit totem as well. I always want to say octopus and rabbit as well and bat because bat is facing the dark. You had to have the courage to face the dark in order to transmute it into the light. Take steps to that lead to peace. Slow, confident walks, slow steps. When elephant trumpets its arrival as your spirit animal, it's time to seek harmony in the herd. Holy mother of freaking pearl, bro. Her holy mother of freaking pearl. I'm telling you, it's time for you to unite with your soul tribe. It is time. You're not supposed to do it alone. The ops, the lower vibrational beings, they want to see you alone and isolated because it's easier for them to gain up on you and bully you and knock you down. Together with your soul family, you rise, you unite, and you thrive. And look, we have new income. So that confirms. And then right here, ascending, time to go. Quick, quickly going in the right direction. So, I mean, this is really, really positive. You guys are going to be taking action making decisions that's going to lead to new income or a financial increase whether it's you know the same thing you're doing but whatever actions you're doing differently you're going to become more disciplined practical methodical and taking the right divinely guided actions it's going to lead to financial increase new income again you, you i see you having big clarity moments right now or within the next three days i feel like 
between right now and the next month and autumn, I'm getting those time frames, you're going to have such big breakthroughs that are, are going to be very empowering, liberating, and drastic. And you're going to just know this is the right way for me to go and I'm not ever looking back. I, I see you not doubting yourself. You're going to be so sure. This is my person. This is my career. This is my direction. And it's all uphill from here. This is going to happen pretty quickly. Like I said, guys, that is your message. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you have not already. You can always watch any of my videos because all of my videos are timeless. So you can go to any of my videos in order to get your message. Okay, guys, drop a little shell emoji down in the comments to let me know that you came from option number one. You guys have a stellar day. Those of you that chose option number two, Mr. Whaley. <laughs> okay, look up Spirit Totem Whale. But you know what I'm getting right away? I'm getting like this relief. The pressure has been lifted off. Google Whale Spirit Totem, but also intuitively right now, what I'm getting is you guys are about, you've been under pressure. We have persevere. So it, it confirms you've been under pressure. You've been feeling some sort of pressure. For some of you, it could be just spiritual pressure. For others of you, it could be, you know, feeling burnt out, tired, like you can't keep going. But you're being told to persevere because you are like right at like this breakthrough, okay? Like this, this shift where the pressure is going to be lifted off. Now, here's a little channeled message here. Deep breathing is needed now. <laughs> you have a goal in mind, but see obstacles. Don't let this mountain scare you from reaching your destiny. Though it may look like a hard road in front of you, once you get to the top, you'll see that it was all worth it in the end. It's time to go forth boldly into the direction of your passions. The universe will send you signs along the way to encourage you to keep moving, keep persevering. Your goal is a lot closer than you think. You guys may feel like it's not going to happen. You may feel like there's too many obstacles. You may be losing hope. Hang on. Hang in there. This is your sign from the divine. Hang in there. We have the king of swords. I need more information. <laughs> <laughs> and that's funny because the king of swords is all about information the king of swords is about knowing what's up he has his facts in order so the fact that i was like i feel like i need more information i feel like that's how you feel right now too i feel like you need more information to gain greater clarity you need to keep going because like once you get to the top of the mountain you'll be able to see things more clearly more accurately keep going because just hang in there and keep going Keep continuing to work towards your goals. You, there's some sort of information or experience you have to happen to have some sort of aha moments, to have some sort of ace of swords breakthrough. You need to have some sort of new information obtained in order to see something clearly. We have the page of cups. I do feel like this could also be somebody else in, in, in regards to you. I feel like somebody else was like unsure about you and like they couldn't put their finger on you. It's like they couldn't really understand completely what you were about. But I feel like they're gaining a bigger picture now and they're relieved to know that they like you. <laughs> That's going to be for some of you, okay? Um, but for, for others of you, again, <clears throat> I feel like there's some sort of social interaction and it could be several people that haven't been sure about you that you interact with in the near future will decide that they really like you. If they were on the fence about you, they're going to decide like, wow, what was I thinking? I really like this person a lot. Like they're going to feel really emotionally connected to you and, and very grateful for you and realize like, holy crap. This person's a big blessing. I feel like you've been through a lot and you're stepping into this King of Swords energy. You're almost there if not already. Again, I feel like you may need to go through a few more experiences, but most of you are actually already in this energy now. You're shifting into it now because with the whale here, again, it's like that relief is already here. So you guys are quickly, if not already, in this King of Swords energy. For those of you who aren't in this King of Swords energy just yet, um, I feel that you are about to be. Again, after some sort of new information or experience. But what I'm seeing is you have been through a lot. Like I said, you are now balanced. You're able to handle your emotions in situations where you may not have been before. That doesn't mean you have no emotions. That means you are intelligent and you know how to be detached. 
when you need to be and you know how to be open-hearted when you need to be but i'm also getting like that perfect balance of detached healthy boundaries and my own energy but also open-hearted it's like that perfect balance you know where it's like it's not too overwhelming it's just right like it feels like I i'm totally open-hearted i'm totally open to like new friends um or whatever for some of you it could be in regards to love but whatever energy this is that you are stepping into is attracting a lot of people that admire you have crushes on you and and just really value you whether it's friendship or love i'm just getting a lot of people are going to be looking up to you and really value you your wisdom and the words you speak so some of you could be like some sort of advisor some of you could be a therapist it's someone who's able to deal with emotions and be sympathetic but detached and see things from a higher perspective as well so some of you could be therapist or could just be a very good friend someone who, who's very good at giving advice and very good at listening and understanding the correct advice to give so you would be a good therapist um but again i either way i feel that you're an active listener you learn what people need and people feel or will be feeling like you understand them deeply 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 and, and people are going to really really appreciate you whereas in the past they may not have emotional fulfillment happily ever after um i see you being blessed with a lot of emotional satisfaction emotionally satisfying connections friendship love family i am seeing you for a long time may not have had that which is why you had to be the king of swords you had to be okay with no one pouring into your cup with with no one giving you giving you understanding giving you sympathy you had to be okay with doing it alone or or being your own advisor understanding your own emotions working through things on your own but because you've done that you now know how to help others and how to connect with others and again i'm seeing happy socialization i feel that you're someone who has really healthy boundaries but with the right people you're totally open you like with the right people you have the biggest heart and 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 i do see the right people coming in and if you feel if you feel like you already have the right people i see you connecting with them more i'm seeing a great increase in gratitude and gratification in your social life and social interactions wow and we have the ace of cups wow you guys are being very very in the three of cups <laughs> You're being very divinely blessed. You're destined for true love that comes in so many forms. You've gone through a huge emotional rebirth and renewal. And you may even have a renewal in several connections, friendships. A lot of people are going to be crushing on you. They're going to have crushes on you. Look, hanging out with, the, with good, like-minded people. People that really vibe together. I really feel... Oh, look, we have immature, young vibes, but karmic. On the back it says, <clears throat> there are karmics around trying to mess with you. They are low vibing, petty, immature. These jerks are throwing negative vibes your way to trigger you. It's clear that they are in the wrong and up to no good. Immature, young vibes, but karmic. Um, someone untrustworthy. Are they a pawn for the real hater? Mischievous and up to no good. Petty wow let's clarify some of some of these we have celebration presence be the lights attending exciting events and then we have on like your power is turned on oh and on the back it literally says power is turned on shining lights for others the good guy a good vibe and good intentions and then we have major life changes <laughs> And then we have someone that totally stands out beautifully. Celeb vibes, be a star, magnetic, super vibing, swag, attractive, confidently shining, looking very good. One, primal force. Unique flavor. People are, <laughs> people are thirsty for you. Okay, okay, now I get it. Okay, love wins. Let me tell you. And then we have the cactus. 
Unexpected expenses. Okay. I want to clarify a few things. Keep going. Be a conscious driver. Stay empowered. And then we have the green lights. Huge sudden shift. Divine power. Powerful shift. Is clarifying unexpected expenses. Okay. We have honorable. Good vibes. And then we have evanescent. Sweet sacrifice. And it has that line. You poor sweet innocent thing. Dry your eyes. And on the back it says a huge sweet surprise. Big happy changes. <laughs> and this is clarifying unexpected expenses. Um, <clears throat> so if you guys... Want to listen to that song by Evanescence, Sweet Sacrifice? I am getting that people threw you under the bus with this <clears throat> immature vibe here, this karmic. You dealt with a lot of karmics. And again, that cactus clarifies that you were not watered. You, it's almost like people were like, you were too sharp. Like you were too, you were too sharp, <laughs> mentally sharp. And you saw through their karmic ways petty ways you didn't play their games okay for some of you i'm getting a very specific message like you're someone who doesn't like to play little petty mind games or whatever so you don't get along with people like that um and i also feel like some people didn't like that you were so mentally sharp okay um because you know whatever for whatever reason now what i'm getting is certain connections those connections specifically are either you're either leaving them behind because you are being a conscious driver in your life and you acknowledge you don't want to be around petty people so anyone who's like karmic i see you driving away from or just like you know leaving behind and headed towards really really good connections we have the ten of cups the ace of cups and the three of cups total um soul family actual family true love because you are full of love. Your heart is going to be so full of love and joy and positivity and blessings. It's going to feel incredibly good. Um, now, what I'm seeing also is some of these connections in the past that I feel have been in your life for a long time. That you were almost on the verge of like cutting out, giving up on. You were like about to put that sword down and say, nope, I don't want to deal with it. I feel that some of these connections are actually going to be transmuted intensely and greatly. I feel like there's going to be a huge positive shift. Um, and, and I feel like you're turning ops into allies. You're going to be winning people over. Like, so if people like judged you negatively, if they thought you were petty and karmic and immature, maybe they, maybe they misjudged you. They're gaining clarity that they really, really like you. And and again, it's like, you know, people are thirsty for you. They're getting clarity that they're in love with you. Like, I, I mean, honestly, I'm getting like, people are going to fall in love with you. Even people that thought they didn't like you before are going to realize like, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? I love this mother effer. They're gonna be like, I love this person so much. I can't believe I ever like, you know, did not acknowledge how great they are. Especially with the celeb vibes. People are gonna really be like, I don't know. It's almost like in the past you may have been like you may have been really sensitive in the past and people may have judged you for immature and you still are sensitive but you're able to handle your emotions better now and deal with situations in a more mature manner now and so people are realizing um that either they misjudged you or they're realizing like you have matured and you've gone through big major changes okay so you can read this a few different ways okay whatever the case is okay I'm seeing that there have been good, big, major changes in you. You've matured. You are able to handle your emotions and certain social situations better and in a more, in a more uh, mature manner, but also fun. Um, and I don't know. I just feel like you're becoming a better version of yourself. And so you're making everyone fall in love with you, even if, even with even the karmics. Even the karmics are falling in love with you. And people thought that you were a karmic. Um, are realizing like either you're you know, you weren't a karmic or you've changed and now you're freaking awesome and they love you now with the unexpected expenses i feel like you're being told like make sure you hold on to your money right now not to say you don't have enough but there may be unexpected expenses that come up so make sure you do try to save for a rainy day
Okay. I'm not seeing a catastrophe or anything, but because there are major life changes, I'm seeing that these life changes may come with something like moving or traveling. Whatever these unexpected expenses are, are leading to a better direction. Like whatever path this is, is the right path, but make sure you save your money in order to be prepared for unexpected expenses. Okay. Because I do feel like they may, that may come up. Um, anyways, that's just kind of like a heads up. It doesn't have to be something that's negative, but especially if you're prepared, okay? I see a lot of people are going to be really magnetized and captivated by you. I feel like you're going to be like way a way better socializer, connecting with people from a balanced place and being empowered. I actually feel like if someone is a karmic around, they actually just want more of your attention. I actually feel like this person is like a secret lover, like not a secret lover, but like, <laughs> like they may act like an op, but they're actually a fan, you know, like, and a big one, actually, they actually really like you and they may act out to get attention, not saying it's the right thing to do, but I am actually kind of getting that. Okay. So just kind of like pay attention to people and the, like behind what they're saying like kind of listen to their emotions if, if you're an empath so yeah this looks pretty good hang in there hang in there certain connections that you have been holding on to and kind of again not sure about i'm seeing um a rekindling in a renewal i'm seeing a strong community as well and again a lot of people falling in love with you <laughs> friends family and you know actual love too with ace of cups um so yeah you guys have a really good stack here and i feel like that alone is the major life change as well as other life changes um and again like people are going to be looking at you like a celebrity kind of even if you're not it's like you have that swag you're gonna have that vibe where you feel like a celebrity and and you know i feel like people i don't know they're just gonna be really attracted to you um and they're just gonna think you're so i don't know i'm just seeing people like really simping here <laughs> And, um, but also on top of that, you know, they love that you're honorable, that you're a good vibe and you make people feel safe to be themselves. You know, you're a good vibe. Like you're cool, but you're not like too cool for school. You're cool, but like, you know, you let other people be cool too. You're not a bully. You know, you're, you're a chill and you're fair, you're balanced. You're someone that, you know, you don't, you don't have bad intentions or anything and, and love wins. If you guys enjoyed this reading, go and hit the like button for me. Show some love in the comments. Um, drop down a little, I don't know, is there a whale emoji? <laughs> if there's a whale emoji, drop down a whale emoji to show that you came from option number two or something similar representing this little ornament to show that you came from this option. And it's a book of personal reading. You can go to www.theenchantedone.com. Again, guys, the link for all of that is down below in the description box. Thank you guys for tuning in and for connecting. I appreciate every single one of you. There are some big positive shifts happening in the collective, guys, especially for a soul family and, and for just a collective in general. So hang in there, guys. I know the, the road can feel a little bit bumpy right now. Things are going to get better, I promise. Just do the best that you can to detach from negative energy, negative thoughts, and don't be triggered right now. People may want to try to trigger you. Do not allow yourself to be triggered. Um, and just just know that you know you've got this you've got the green lights and you've got this okay keep going be a conscious driver stay empowered things are shifting for the better do not allow yourself to be triggered or dragged down by fear or fearful thoughts if you feel like you are you know being attacked that's just to create fear for you here don't fall into that okay um and, and again also i also feel like if you feel like things are a little bit confusing right now on your path which I don't feel like it is for most of you, but if you feel like things might be a little bit confusing or like kind of like if you have fear about anything, um, things are about to clear up. Hang in there. It's not going to be like that forever, okay, guys? Uh, it's a little bumpy right now, but things are about to balance out and clear up, okay? Um, but I feel like, you know, by the time you watch this, it will be balanced out and cleared out. But just in case, just know, hang in there. This too shall pass. You'll be fine. And, and the, this spiritual test, you shall pass, okay, with a green light. All right, you guys have an enchanted stellar day. Those are going to chose option number three, de-stress, and this totally cool, freaking awesome vehicle that says surfing on it. 
It's got two little palm trees and a sun sun there and like a wave. Um, and two surfboards, pink and blue. It's got someone surfing here. So right away, I feel like you're going to be in a totally chill vibe. <laughs> I feel like you've been stressed. But with this lavender here, this de-stress card and this... I see that any sort of waves, you will be surfing. You're learning to ride the wave instead of letting, you know, the waves come and take you down, if that makes sense, okay? I see you, like, head in the, headed in the right direction. So, your channeled message. It's time to de-stress. You've been overthinking and carrying stress in different areas of your body. This message is simple. Relax. Take time to clear your head recenter and recharge your batteries try smelling lavender burn a lavender candle if you can to promote relaxation it may help with anxiety insomnia depression and restlessness so you guys um if you chose this stack you've been battling with insomnia or you just haven't been sleeping right your sleeping patterns have been disrupted and i can tell you guys you now like i feel like you will be overcoming that um, by having fun interestingly enough i feel like you've been like overly mon like doing things that are too mundane you're breaking out of that and i feel like you're gonna be having a lot more fun wow i didn't even mean to leave this one behind look we have the page of coins I feel like you're going to be having a lot more fun. Yeah, and this guy's like outdoors. He's like in this grassy area. What's going to help you is I feel like you're going to become a lot more grounded in the now. I see you slowing down and not rushing all around, trying to be productive, get this and that done. Not saying that you won't be productive. You will, but you're going to do so in a, a calm, enjoyable manner. You're going to start enjoying your time and moments a lot more and again that just clarifies like i feel like you're gonna be a lot more chill and less anxious i feel like you may have struggled with anxiety possibly depression or something like that for a long time but i feel like this is like lifting it's lifting and i feel like it's already lifting for most of you and shifting you're going to be releasing depression and anxiety you're not going to be that anxious person anymore or you're not going to feel anxious in certain scenarios where you have in the past. I feel, again, like you're going to be a lot more chill, grounded and present, and just, you know, chill. You're not going to be overthinking and in full of fear. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. I'm seeing you being, like, I'm seeing a collaboration here. I'm seeing a teamwork effort. For some of you, I'm seeing that you're going to be starting some sort of new project with somebody else or you're gonna have you're gonna have help with something what well, some sort of goals for some of you it's a project career um gardening <laughs> you know maybe you you want to you know have some bees i see you having help to gain success in certain areas of life as well okay i, I for some of you i'm seeing you like learning from somebody else like learning something new from somebody else we have the seven of cups and the magician at the bottom of the deck we have the seven of wands wow this card came out in the last stack okay. wow we have keep shifting timeline shifter Wow, victory and success. New income. I think the new income also came out for stack number one. You know what I'm getting also? I'm getting that you're like being brought into some sort of group or community. Like they're saying access granted because like this dude is like the beekeeper. And it's like you need a coin to get in or a golden ticket and you got one. Like and then we have yes, you. So... And then we have Galactic Citizen, Star Family. I'm getting that you can chill if you are stressed out or anxious right now about getting accepted into something, whether it's a school, um, getting a new job, if you've been applying for jobs and you're like, oh, like, why won't they accept me? You will get a yes. You will get a new job if you're looking for a new job. You will get a promotion if you're looking for a promotion. Even though I don't feel like it's so much a promotion. I'm just getting a yes, access granted. 
into a community, whether it's career or just like, you know, a family, some community of some kind, like getting access granted into a community because you are, you're being the light, you're being present, you're being a lot more present and anxious. I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> you're being a lot more present as opposed to being anxious as you may have been in the past. So because you're a lot more grounded and present, um, you're getting like access granted into some sort of community and, and like you're a team player and people acknowledge that like you vibe well with others so you can be part of the tribe with others um now there is some confusion that i feel that you may sometimes stumble upon still with these cards you will have victory over any sort of confusion or indecision like you may like be confused as to which path to take because you may have several offers whether it's, you know, several schools say yes, several jobs call you back, um, or several, there's just several paths that are going to open up for you. There are new possibilities opening up for you now, okay? You're being told to stay grounded and stay calm. If something feels negative, don't worry about it. Shift to a better reality. Shift to a better timeline. And the way you do that is by... If something feels negative, um, whether it's a person or a situation, just, you know, literally ignore them. <laughs> um, don't choose that path. Don't focus on negativity. Um, so, I, again, you will have victory over confusion. The confusion could be caused by energy enmeshment. Like, you need to make sure you have healthy boundaries. I feel like it is you being grounded and having healthy boundaries um, that's going to aid you in having victory. Healthy boundaries against negative energy, to be specific. Claim your power back. Don't let yourself be drained by lower vibrational energies. Don't let yourself be drained by toxic energy or any sort of like negativity or fear-based emotions or thoughts. Negative emotions and thoughts are going to pop up. You know, it, it happens. But don't be ruled by them don't be ruled by these lower vibrational emotions and thoughts this too shall pass shift back into your own energy and if you feel again if you feel drained then that's a sign of a toxic or negative lower vibrational energy somehow it's not to say the person has to be negative but you know do what you can to shift back into your own energy and not be drained i also feel like you are going to be making a decision on Possibly walking away from someone who hurt you, whether it's someone who hurt you or just something that isn't aligned with you anymore. Okay, for some of you, it's like walking away from a toxic connection. For some of you, it's for some of you, it is just you know walking away from being like swayed or manipulated by the external reality. Any sort of confusion, you will overcome. It doesn't matter. Okay, I see that you're gonna make the right choice. You will make the right choice. You need to have faith in your decision-making abilities because you will make the right choice. I see that here with the Seven of Wands, victory. And this right, the right, the choices that you are going to be making, which I do feel like you're going to be making several choices, it's going to create financial increase, um, whether it is a new income or just financial increase, and a big positive turning point. All that you desire is coming to you, superstar. A series of lucky events. You have just leveled up big time, had a massive glow up, and are now seeing wish fulfillments in each and every way. I'm telling you. And I also feel like where there may have been a lot of confusion, you're going to have a lot of clarity and a lot of blessings coming in in the form of finances, help, and also collaborating with people, um, soul family, collaborating with soul family, possibly in regards to work or projects or school. I see you calling your power back. So if you're dealing with confusion, you're not going to be anymore. You're going to have victory over toxic energy and or confusion and indecision. You're going to have victory and anyone trying to hurt you or throw jabs at you or compete with you or knock you down because they're competitive with you, you will be victorious over by being in your own energy and disconnecting from their drama, <laughs> okay? Allow yourself to shine. Don't allow for manipulative people that want to knock you down to knock you down or to trigger you, okay? You're being advised to just be in your own energy and focus on your goals. Focus on where you want to go. And if someone is, you know, continuously being toxic towards you, then that's a sign 
okay, it's time to head in a different direction because they're not changing, okay? So that is your reading. You guys will be making some big positive changes in your life. There's going to be a huge turning point for you guys um, in several different areas of your life. With the Seven of Cups, again, for some of you at school, career, work, um, walking away from um, toxic connections, having healthy boundaries. Um, I really feel like you're creating big shifts, but you've been creating these shifts for a long time. Um, you're just going to see the, the effects of these shifts. It's almost like you're tipping the scales with a turning point here. You're tipping those scales, you know, like to the point where it's like more in your favor. The wheel of fortune is like about to turn in your favor because of the choices you've been making and because of, you know, you acknowledging like, you're awesome. And also, I, I really feel like you guys are set on some sort of goal or will be set on some sort of goal. I really feel that. Okay, that's your reading. Drop a little emoji to represent this ornament, whether it's like, I don't know, is there a surfboard on there? <laughs> is there a surfboard emoji or something or, or like a pine tree? Because there's a pine tree. Um, not a pine tree. <laughs> a palm tree you can drop a little palm tree emoji or like a surfboard emoji if there's one of those to show that you came from option number three you guys have an enchanted day and if you would like to book a personal reading you can do so at www.theenchantedone.com the link for that is down below in the description box you guys have a stellar day shows option number four perceptions uh let's get to it we have this card is here to remind you that your perception creates your reality alter your perception and you alter your reality you need to question your perception now things aren't quite as you have been perceiving them to be have you been stuck in the past focus on the future or caught up in a mental realm of over overthinking your guides are telling you that you will be able to perceive reality the clearest when you are in the here and the now. Release the mental shackles, painful memories, limited thought patterns, and or regrets that hold on to you. It's time to see the universe with fresh eyes and realize that anything is possible in the now. I feel like you guys are in the process of um, having like these huge perception shifts. Um, again, this these messages are going to be very similar for each stack. Similar but different and, and unique in their own way. Similar because we're all part of the collective consciousness. They are just separated into four separate stacks to be a little bit more specific as to each separate collective Okay, you are seeing things differently. I feel like this window was black and now you can see through it. I'm also getting like, you guys, your third eye chakra is opening, awakening, and being turned on. With the two of wands was black and now you can see through it. I'm also getting like, you guys, your third eye chakra is opening, awakening, and being turned on. With the two of wands. We got, with the two of wands, I also feel like you see clearly now the rain is gone. Wow. The two of wands, the star, the four of cups, and the ace of wands. On the bottom of the deck, again, seven of wands, just like the last stack. <clears throat> the last uh, pile had seven of wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like you guys... Um, Wow, this card was in the same position, I think, for number two, I believe. Let me clarify. Or actually, no, that we'll do that. It's time to do what you have to do to cleanse your mind, body, and energy. Release all low vibes. Tune in and connect with your higher self. Connect with source, one with the divine, spiritual Loved ones, multitasking, you can be successful with good time management, green light, one, primal force, wow, and then we have eternal life, blessed, okay, so let me get straight to the point, I don't want to ramble, <clears throat> what I'm seeing here, you're 
I feel like you are coming out of like limited perceptions on your future. You're seeing new path, new possibilities or pathways that your future can, um, that you can create for your future. There might be obstacles or intense energy right now that you're dealing with or have been dealing with. Um, but I feel that you're being advised to like be present and be and utilize your spiritual discernment from other people's stress. Okay. Other people are stressed out about their own stuff too. Everyone's going through something right now. There's intense energy in the collective right now. You're being told to just chill. You will overcome this. Everyone's going to overcome it. Don't worry about your, your loved ones. They will be fine. But you got to be strong for you and for them. You're going to be overcoming obstacles by being relaxed and super chill. Okay? <laughs> be relaxed and super chill. Like, don't let yourself be, like, riled up. Let's say, like, your twin flames is, like, a stressed out. Don't, f don't let them stress you out and be fearful, you know, because you can feel each other. You can feel each other, but make sure that you try to align and balance your energy and it'll help actually your twin flame as well and your loved ones, okay? So just be chill. Don't stress out and just have faith and, and take, don't be so serious, you know? Be more lighthearted about things, you know? Like this too shall pass. Even if it seems serious, just know it's going to be fine. Be chill. And, and I'm actually getting like, if you want to eat a, a donut, eat a freaking donut if it's going to make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever it is for you um love is the highest vibration remember that keep that in your heart love will always save your soul your spirit and allow you to fly um i feel like you're a lot better at managing your time by the way you're a lot better at managing your time um and because of that there's going to be a huge rebirth. And even if you're not better at it now, you will be a lot better at managing your time and responsibilities gracefully. I feel like you're learning to do so, to multitask better. Some of you may have children and you're learning to, because um, like, I know this is karmic, but it also says young vibes. And I'm not saying your kids are karmic, <laughs> but I'm saying what I'm getting intuitively is that you're learning how to multitask. And for those of you that have children, you're learning how to, um, you know, be there for them, but also do what you have to do to not, you know, feel depleted and, and to not feel like you didn't get anything done that you needed to do in other areas of life. I see a good balance with um, being a good parent, but also filling your own love tank and being in alignment. I also feel like you guys are a mentor. You guys are supposed to be guides, like leaders, mentors for the next generation, for children, or again, just for whoever. But, you know, if you have children, you're a strong guide. You being bright will aid them on the right path if you feel like they're on the wrong path, okay? Now, I'm also getting, there's a huge, um, there's a huge breakthrough in regards to your emotions. You're going to be given some sort of blessing, but I also feel like you are a blessing for people around you, not just children. Anyone in a lower vibration, you are the star. You are a blessing for them in their life, and you are here to be an example, you know, to kind of like shift and adapt. Not saying that you're perfect, but you are, you're going through a rebirth. I feel like you may have been dissatisfied in the past, but you are now going through a rebirth where you have great gratitude and you are receptive to the divine blessings that are being bestowed upon you now. And you're also gifted with the Midas touch, with eternal life. You are about to receive a lot of blessings. Because you are being more grateful, you're going to be a lot more, again, receptive and open to divine blessings. I also feel like your advice is to use tact and diplomacy as you go for your dream life. But some of you actually are meant to be like celebrities with a star here. Either celebrities with a star and the two of wands or to reach the masses worldwide. I also feel like people that didn't appreciate you before are going to start to appreciate you more now. And not all of them, not all of them will. <laughs> 
But I do feel like a lot of people that didn't appreciate you before will start to appreciate you more now because you're in a higher vibrational energy. You're also more giving, but from a healthy, high vibrational place. And I also feel that you are manifesting more people that are just naturally grateful for you. You're aligned with this high vibrational source energy. And it's a light. You are a light for the world, for those around you. It doesn't matter who comes against you. You will be victorious. You will thrive. And you are destined to be the star. You're destined to create a world of harmony. You're des I feel like you're destined to create a new world that is one with source that it that does bring eternal life spiritual blessings and i also feel like you're going to be having fun with it because this says have fun you're gonna have fun and that is the answer if you feel stressed out just have fun and don't allow for other people's stress or lack of gratitude to affect you and your vibe okay again i feel like you are here to teach those in that lower energy to be grateful, to accept blessings. You're here to really be an example. Again, not saying you're perfect, but I do feel that you've been through a lot and you've transformed a lot yourself. And you're going to be shifting the perception of others towards a more positive one as well. Not by force, but by example by new ideas, new information. You're a divine channel that is here to plant seeds of the divine within the minds of people. You're here to inspire and uplift and reroute the collective to a more positive timeline. You're here to create peace and harmony. And I feel like people are going to be reaching out to you more lovingly and gratefully, full of gratitude for you. Okay, so that's your reading. I don't want to ramble. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can do so at www.theenchantedone.com. Drop a little starfish emoji or just a star um, in the comments. Let me know you came from option number four. Like the video if you enjoyed the reading. Thank you guys for tuning in and I will talk to you later.